Hi, good morning. My name is John Addison from Million Pentecostal Church in Landing in Barcelona. I have 53. They said, who will believe our report? To whom the harm of God has been revealed to? God has a purpose and a plan for your life, which eyes have not seen nor ears have heard. But God is establishing in you the finished work on the cross of Calvary. God loves you. And I want you to embrace his presence in your life because, because he has a purpose and a plan for you. Isaiah 53 says, Who would believe your report? To whom the harm of God has been revealed to? I give God the praise and glory for your life because something great is going to happen. Jesus said this to Pilate. He said, For this cause I was born. John chapter 18 verse 37. For this cause you were born. Because things happening in your life that you don't understand. But God has a plan for you. You need to have it behind and before you and beside you and on every side of yours that if God be for you, who can be against you? In the same Romans, he say all things will work together for good because you love God, because you are called according to his purpose in Christ Jesus. Hold in there. Don't give up. It seems impossible. There's something great that is about to happen. No bitterness, no hatred, no pain should be allowed in your, your body because God has a plan for you. When you release yourself in his presence, it will make all things beautiful. Have you ever come across that verse that says, he make all things beautiful in his own time? Not your time, in his time. May the Lord bless you. I pray for strength, for stability, for enablement, for empowerment. The great God who has called you for a time like this, for this cause you were born. Father, in the name of Jesus, as your son step out, may he never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. As your daughter step out, believing you, may she never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. For this cause she was born. To turn the whole thing around to show forth his praise in your life. May the Lord bless you. May he strengthen you, uphold you in his right hand of his righteousness. In Jesus' name, go and be blessed. I say go and be blessed. Amen.